All right, guys, welcome to another video. We are basically being flat out behind the scenes. I just did an ad for Turtle Wax, my Instagram. So big shout out to the guys from Turtle Wax. If you haven't already seen it by now, probably go check out my Instagram. If it's not up there already, it'll be up soon. Kind of fun to do, except I unfortunately left some skid marks out the front of my house, which I didn't think it would leave black skid marks. Evidently, it's definitely a black skid marks in my driveway, which I don't know, it is what it is. So if you can see the marks in the ground a little bit, just there. I didn't think it would make marks, but it did. But um, if you remember seeing the headlights in this car, they were disgusting. I used a full blown headlight rejuvenation kit from the guys at Turtle Wax. And uh, not gonna lie, it works mad, so good. Like took me probably 15 minutes total to do the job and it is shmick. Anyway, as you know, we beat this thing up. I don't know if I actually showed you guys, the door is well and truly caved in. Um, so I'm probably gonna try and push a little bit of that out, but I have a big issue where I don't know if you remember all the issues I had on that side of the car. I'm now starting to have on this side of the car. So kind of hard to show you, but I've snapped all the bolts out here on top of the knuckle. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and fix that today. New merch. New merch. Yes. Yeah, I'll put a picture up right here. Check it out. You can buy it now. So yeah, do that. Keep wifey happy because I'm about to go away. So I'd rather she's busy while I'm away. If you don't already know, which none of you actually know because I haven't announced it yet, I'm off to Belarus. Yes, in between two war zones. Not advised necessarily as a place to go, but I've got a drifting thing going on in Belarus. I have mentioned that when he sold the trip to me and try to convince me about it. Failed to mention that it was in the middle of a war zone. And yeah. uh, there's an Australian advisory to do not fly, so. That's... Yeah, so these are things you sort of skip when you're telling your wife about stuff. Just a friendly reminder to those of you with wives and whatnot. Um, it's not lying, it's, it's, it's not lying. It's just not telling everything. Um, but yeah, I think it'll be fine, <laughs> a life insurance. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead, rip the wheel off and try and get this situated and weld it all up. I welded that side and that that side's held mint. So I'm quite proud of my welding. Um, then we need to pull this beast out and get it ready. So we're gonna do a pretty cool photo shoot with this tomorrow, which I'm gonna take you guys to later in this video um, with another patrol and there's a whole like idea behind it. We've got a guy coming down with some pretty cool expertise with crazy computer generated stuff. So he wants to do a video with this. Um, so that should be pretty cool. So I'll take you guys along for that. And then again, later in this video, a uh, friend of ours bought a new car and her old car is now our paddock basher and had Boston there the other day doing some jumps in this thing. So uh, yeah, let's get into the vlog guys. Uh, I've got heaps to do. I leave on Tuesday. Today is now Friday. So we've got a heap to do before we get out of here. But this thing, I just want to fix it up and get it out of here, take it back to my buddy's house for storage. Um, but I want it fixed first. All right, I didn't really film it. I have filmed in a previous episode where I fixed the other side, but I've gone ahead and welded out all underneath the knuckle. Is this advised? Not necessarily. However, I have a buddy of mine you know, Critty here did all my laser cut stuff for the patrol. Anyway, he said there's nothing really wrong with doing it this way. Um, and that's the way people have done it in the past. You can still undo bottom bolts down here to get the knuckle off. So the knuckle's not stuck on necessarily. Well, not at all. Um, so we can unbolt it from there when we need to do seals and things like that. So it's not a uh, deal breaker as far as getting the knuckles on and off the car makes it slightly a longer process, but nonetheless, the knuckles can still come off. This is my solution until sometime in the future, I'll end up going with uh, some six shooter knuckles. They're kind of expensive and I have to get them for the States. Yes, I travel to the States a lot, but it doesn't stop them from being like a thousand bucks when welding them up cost me maybe an hour of my time. And I welded this side up. That side seems to be mint now and all the pressure's gone to this side now. And now I've welded this one. So in theory, I shouldn't be having any more dramas, hopefully, with those. There's still stuff I have to fix with this front diff. Um, 
I have an air leak inside the diff on the air locker. There's like a seal on the ARB air locker that goes bad, or that went bad, whatever. Um, I do need to get that sorted out at some point. Um, and what I'm gonna do now is go underneath and look at the car and see how hard it is to change an auto. I've honestly never pulled an automatic out of a car, let alone out of a Suzuki. So I'm gonna just dip my head under now, look at how much of a mission that's gonna be, um, whether I get a new one or see if anyone refurbishes these um, gearboxes, because they're kind of sought after gearbox for the Suzuki. They're an AW4, similar to what comes in like the Jeep Cherokees and stuff. So I need to suss it out. All right, next up, I'm gonna try and get this door um, straighter. Pulled the um, inner door skin off and yeah, Let's see what I can do. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's, it's all the way in. So uh, yeah, crack the hammer out and see what I can do. to the next day we have tiana's a86 out doing video stuff with that we have the patrol out my suzuki up on the wall behind it with the s14 out the s13 out irish is 33 the jzx100 and the g35 and then raptors off in the background so yeah this is what's going on i'll tr if he's got any of it done by the time i edit this he does all this really cool special effects stuff um so yeah, I'll leave a link right here. You can go check him out on Instagram to have a look at some of his stuff, but hopefully, well, this should turn out really cool. I don't know exactly what he's got planned, but there's, he's like running the camera through the car and all kinds of different stuff. So should be sick. Yeah. You assistant Hayden? Yeah. What are you assisting in? Light man. Trying to light up lives. Yeah. Light work around here. Big yeah. <laughs> it's all right then. All right, video shoot has finished. We've now made our way back to Jason's place where the kids are gonna do some jumps and stuff like that in that car we're in just earlier in this video. Um, yeah, it's been a good chill Saturday getting all that stuff done with the uh, video stuff. I can't, I don't know what to call it. The one, bro. Yeah, mate, you film. All right. Filming. In there, boss. All right, foot on brake, bro. One, foot on one. Foot on brake. Right, right, right. Yep, where you go. Oh, that's two. Uh, hang on, I'll tell you when to boost it. Ready? Boost it? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, here's a handbrake for you. So, Boston had a couple jumps already, as you guys saw. You're in car with him. I don't know how much you could see or whatever. But, we've just, um... Test it. Uh, so yeah, we've reshaped the lump, the lip, so we can uh, yeah not go so up. Trying to get more distance. No good. No good. So radiator we just tried to fix and it was no good. So. They definitely got to hit it faster than that. Yeah, fuck yeah, man. Bossy nearly landed on the moon. But Bossy went higher than that. All right, lining up for another go. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> How was that, boss? My turn! <laughs> oh, that Hold the 
The girls have had a few beers and thought they were going to make a great skit for the video. So if that turned out good, then I feel like I could have done bigger on the jumps. You could have. I think it was my first time jumping a car, though. Is it? Yeah, I never. I've always too drunk on rally days to get that far. Oh, you've definitely jumped ripple I've, strips. I slipped a car. I've jumped ripple strips. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we did the char char slide. Jen forgot a navigation book. Normally I don't. I'm actually okay at navigating. The handbrake got stuck stuck on a couple of times. It went for, into for, neutral. For reference, on its own. Jenny actually um, used to do it semi professionally. It, she's a navigator. It was just, but I did navigate. I did have. She's done some events. And these two were just along for the ride. Backseat drivers. Alright, time. And cut! Alright, on to Anae. Another day. Different me. Beard's gone. Haircut. Ready to go to Europe. Um, as you know, we pulled the 860 down. The talk is that this might end up being Tiana's daily for a while. Not that she freaking ever drives anyway. I don't really see the point, but it's what she wants, so. Another thing, if you didn't already know, we are working with Heatwaves. Use the code FINK on the store, heatwavevisual.com.au if you want to grab some for yourself. Um, but Hayden's going to go ahead and do what? Kind of, not a paint correction, but... Uh, there's a lot of crap in the paint. Yeah. Kind of side effect from building the patrol. Yes. And everything else that's happened in the side of the house. Yeah. So this was on the lift behind where we've been doing all the work and has unfortunately copped a everything. bit of... Yeah, metal, metal spray, tiny bit of um, spray can overspray, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully we can get it all out. Yeah, being that the paint is fresh, like it is, it was brand new paint when the car was parked up, we should be able to bring it back. Um, no dramas. And I know you put a fair bit on. I think you did, yeah, you did quite a few coats and it has never been cut or polished. So there should be a ton of paint still there left to work with. What are you doing then? Oxidizing. I'm, I'm not going to do any cut and polishing. Yeah. No, but the oxi. Yeah. What are you? A, uh, it's a deionizer. Like it gets all the. Are you going to wax? It's going to get called? clay barred. Clay barred. That's yeah. Fine. So hopefully the clay bar will take everything out. Mo well, most of it, and then we can worry about a cut and polish down the line. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably the only place I'm really concerned about. So I had a flag. We put some flags up in the garage and didn't even think about the fact they're going to be close to the car, and they was swinging up along the side of the car for maybe two or three days and yeah. it's marked the paint so that part might need a cut and polish yeah that part i can get out so that part i can do yeah all right cool i'm gonna let him go to do that i've been out preparing for my trip away unfortunately this trip has well not unfortunately but this trip was a surprise trip that i didn't know i was doing so i left my race suit race boots everything in the states and for this trip to europe i needed race shoes so i had to go ahead and go and buy some today it's annoying because i'm supported in the states 
um, get them and then my NRG gloves and things like that, which I have over there as well. I have some NRG gloves that aren't technically like FIA legal, but I'm gonna take them away with me because I spent enough money today on freaking boots. Like, that sounds like so. sandpaper. Right, Trying to, to explain to us what's been going on, bud. You've been having a dip. I've been um, getting me three-way on. Three-way? Yeah. <laughs> getting me three-way on. Okay. So this the the ionizer or gets all the shit. Yeah, out of this paint. is the wild thing. All right, so, don't fabricate next to your cars, guys. Is that fair? That's well, nothing. if you're gonna cover the car, if you're gonna fabricate on it, basically everywhere it's turned purple is little bits of metal and shit. Yeah, in so, the paint. And he's already. You can't hear this. I've done this little bit. Okay. It literally sounds like sandpaper. It doesn't feel good. Yeah, <laughs> it but it comes up schmick. Yeah. And lucky, it's only a small car. There's not even that many panels. <laughs> it feels pretty big when it's this bad. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, luckily Hayden's an expert using the Bowden's products there. So yeah, schmick. Get back to you when he's finished. <laughs> Alright guys, Hayden has worked a freaking miracle on this thing. The mark I was worried about from the flags, completely gone. I don't even want to touch it, but I know it's smooth now. Oh, it's like butter now. So he has done a phenomenal job on the paint. It has come up perfect. Oh, I touched it. I don't want to touch it. But yeah, it is smooth as silk. Literally as smooth as silk. Yeah. That's I, better I was than... trying to find a cup so I could pour water on it. Yeah. That was better than when we got the car from paint. Obviously with a... It's not even a polish, it was sort of just a correction. Alright, we got a car coming out, neighbour. Oh no. Yeah, it's all good. That's all I wanted, I just want to see it out. It is about to... We're about to have a crazy storm, so... We're going to get this thing put away. And get some of the other cars put away. You're all good. Bit, bit over that way. That storm is looking like no joke. So I'm gonna get my 100 and get her under cover as well. Oh, someone left the seat forward. Ah. I've got new floor mats for this as well. When I say new, I mean when we sold Tiana's car, I put them in this car. So, nice. Real windy all of a sudden. All right, so when I last spoke to you guys, I was in Australia. Funny story, I messed up my flight. Didn't know, didn't realize that my flights were when they were. Ended up last minute rush to the airport. Anyway, I'm now in Dubai or Abu Dhabi in the UAE. I've caught up with my mate Gobash. Um, I've been over here, been watching my videos for a long time. We came over here and did some drifting with him. He has a bunch of other cool cars. They're all undercover at the moment, but he ended up building this A86 with a lot of, um, as you can see, a lot of influence from me back when I had my Beams 86. He went ahead and built his own, um, but with AC and a really nice street car. So, Cool, pretty rad. One of the coolest things, shock works. Look at that, guys. Cool, shock works on the A86. But I'm going to take this for a little drive um, because he, he said something's rubbing and he just wanted to get my overall thoughts about the car. But super cool. So it's, I believe it's got power steering. Yeah, it's got power steering, it's got AC, it's got everything in it. But yeah, beams. ADS, if you're a shortcut, you can close it. And obviously it is left-hand drive. So, oh, he's got a custom dash in it. What is that? Oh, that's kind of cool. It's 
So full custom gauges and everything. So cool. The A86 is strong with all of us drifters, no matter where you're from. So take this through a little spin. So it's beams, extractors still on a beams e stock ECU. It's got the beam six speed in it, and then it's got some funky rear end. I'll have to let you guys know, but take this thing for a spin. See when drift guys get their hands on something like this, you end up with chase bays, parts in it, and some more Willwood stuff, and yeah, very cool. over in Dubai, drive an A86. All right, so I just have my draw lab. How cool is this? So actually these indicators and stuff is done on a, I guess a motorbike thing. So you get all headlights and everything off of here and the horn maybe. Oops, yep. I don't know, that's a cool setup off a motorbike into a streetcar. It's kind of cool, I've never seen that before. It's a really good idea. And from there, I had another flight uh, I hadn't filmed, I've been here for like a day now, but I am in uh, Belarus. So I'll get back to you guys. I actually went drifting today, but I didn't, I didn't know I needed to take my camera with me. I didn't know I was gonna be drifting and all of a sudden I was in a BMW and drifting. So if I can get some footage of that, I'll end up putting that in the next video. But with that said, tomorrow uh, we are meeting up at 9 a.m. for a film shoot. We're doing street drifting here in Belarus, so definitely get yourself uh, ready for the next video. Should be cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was just, a, I had a week of a lot of stuff to do before this trip, because right after this trip, we're home for a couple of days after this trip, and then we're off to Japan with the Falcon. So yeah, don't forget, we got those new shirts and hoodies, guys. So definitely go check that out. Grab yourself some, uh, as you know, Buying merch definitely helps us a ton um, to be able to do stuff with these videos. And uh, yeah, it's rad. I'm now in Belarus in uh, yeah Eastern Europe. So uh, peace out, guys. I'll see you in the next one.